Youngstown Cityscape maintains the downtown and the surrounding areas. Tonight, Cityscape held its annual grassroots gala honoring the Youngstown Foundation, which over 100 years has put over $200 million into the community. First News reporter Alexis Walters is live in the newsroom with what to look forward to from the groups who are shaping downtown one project at a time. I went to the Samba Auditorium this evening where they were holding the gala and Organizations from all over Youngstown got together tonight not just to give out the award but also to look for the future of the city, the buildup and the cleanup of the downtown with coming projects. This is the ninth year for Cityscape's Grassroots Gala, which recognizes groups of people who stand out in the reviving of downtown Youngstown. We have had this very long relationship with a tremendous organization that really is a gift to our entire community. This year's honoree, the Youngstown Foundation. We were very surprised. We do this because it's our mission and, and we want to help the community. Jan told me the work the Youngstown Foundation does fits perfectly with the mission of Cityscape. It just happens to be the Youngstown Foundation's 100th anniversary year, making it one of the oldest community foundations in the country. And for this being their 100th year. Throughout the year we'll be making some announcements of some some big projects and programs and we kicked it off with the three million million dollar gift to help build the new amphitheater as for what's to come from both cityscape and the youngstown foundation both sharon and jan told me this is just the beginning we're gearing up right now for our streetscape event the community comes and helps us to beautify downtown youngstown that's the first part, and then we have uh, we have outside crew and staff that work all summer long to maintain. Now, if you're interested in helping out with one of those events, their next Streetscape event is June 2nd, and if you want a full list of the community events, you can head over to our website, WKBN.com. Live in the newsroom, Alexis Walters, WKBN 27 First News.